Okay, we are now actually still at the cross-site scripting. Uh, of course, before you go into the lesson, uh, as usual, you need to start your server, which is WebGoat, and of course, log in. Right, so, I'm using the same account that I created much earlier. Right, we are still at the cross-site scripting itself, and there are some readings for you to go through on your section 8 and 9. Okay, so this is section 8, section 9 and of course there is a some formatting error here or it can seem some funny codes but you can ignore that we are going to go into the section 10 right, which is this number 10 over here right. uh, there is a typo error here this is supposed to be the word identify so it's actually to identify potential for dome based XSS which is cross-site scripting uh, you can read the top portion but for this particular example right here in this section here is that we are supposed to look for some test code in the route handler all right okay so there is a test code somewhere inside the route handler and we are supposed to find it right and uh, identify this now the first thing we need to do is just click this uh, submit button uh, although it doesn't do anything okay but it does give us a hint all right so uh, there is a prompt here okay that it says that there is a goat router dot js file Right, so there is actually a hint but in of course real environment uh, there won't be much of a lot of hints that it will be so direct okay now the next thing you want to look into is look at your URL up here now you will notice that uh, of course the front part is your server the port okay then but if you look at this portion let me I like this portion you will notice how WebGoat actually works. Well, uh, it uses a start dot mvc, then followed by a uh, hash lesson, etc. Right, and that is actually indicated here, right, which is the base route. Okay. Now, how do we proceed from here further? Now, you will first of all, uh, let me. I'm using Firefox, right? But uh, you can use any browser that you want. It's quite similar. But the first thing I will do is basically I will right click and I will do an inspect on this page. All right. So I will right click and you will see that I'm actually uh, inspecting this page itself. Okay. So there is a number of tab up here. The one I'm interested in is I will go into the debugger and you can already see the webgoat.js right. now all this little triangle here you can actually expand it right. and in most cases basically uh, I may need to go through them one by one but uh, I'm not going to do that because I already found where they are so I'll just go straight to it it's actually in the goat app this goat app here All right. and if you scroll a little bit down you will see a view All right. you can actually open that one up and you will find your goat router .js over here see you can find your code router.js so this is the exact same thing that you want over here your code router over here so you can find the codes over here all right there's quite a number of things to run through but let me just go to yeah okay here 
this is the part where you can actually find the roots right? and in this particular route right, you can actually see one of it is actually your test see that so this is actually your test codes all right and uh, you can go through the rest inside here if you want to all right but i'll, I'll leave that uh, to you to run through the coding okay, where is it just now okay here it is okay but again i need to put this answer here so what does the answer actually uh, look like well you have to take the hint from what you see in your url on the top the one that we see just now right. so in order to reach this test route you can't just type in the test okay basically what you need to do is start right just like what you see on the top mvc okay which is how it uh, launches then follow by a hash all right the root itself the test follow by a slash and if i click this in the submit i will find that yes i now have a congratulation correct answer all right so that is basically how you handle the identify potential in those days uh, XSS for this lab 10 section.